Hey, welcome to FYA's Virtual Education Station, where we help you make the most of your social distancing. With the change in scenery, I know I've been struggling focusing at home, and I really needed some tips on how to make my space suitable for learning. And since you clicked on this video, I'm assuming you're looking for some tips too. And I just want to say, you've come to the right place, because I'm going to show you how I transform my home into my own personal learning space, where I can truly focus and thrive. First, I like to tell my family that I'm about to do schoolwork. After I tell my family that I'm about to work, I search around the house to find a place I can study. I personally prefer to study at my family's dining table because the dining table is in the living room. The living room has great windows, and great windows equals great lighting. I suggest that you find a spot in your house that is right for you, preferably somewhere quiet. Think about your room, kitchen table, basement. If you can only work in your room, try bringing in a chair or sitting upright on your floor with your laptop in your lap. Standing also helps send fresh blood and oxygen to the brain, which promotes optimal brain function. So try putting your laptop on your dresser or popped up on books or on a shelf. If you're wondering if you should choose between a consistent spot or changing it up, it's all up to you. Um, I personally have a couple of study spaces in my home that I like to alternate between, but that's only because I don't like working in a consistent spot at home for long periods of time. But the decision is ultimately up to you. It's whatever you prefer. Just make sure the space is well lit. You can adjust the light or work next to a window. And especially try to avoid studying your bed so your brain doesn't associate your bed with studying. Next, set up your shop. Bring only things you need and lay them out neatly however you want. For example, a pencil, notebook, calculator, and a bottle of water to remember to keep your brain hydrated. You can also personalize your space, like playing your favorite study music, putting up pictures of friends and family, posting motivational quotes, or hanging up art that you may have. And don't forget to put away all distractions, like turning your phone and TV off. And boom, you got your own learning space. <laughs> I hope this video helped. I hope it gave you tips to help you create your learning space. And if it did help, tell a friend, spread the love and the knowledge. And until next time, live life and learn. Bye.